members of the student council are being running through the crowd asking for donations to the Children's Hospital during halftime. Last year, the student council raised over $1,500. They'd like to surpass that amount this year. Also, tonight, there's a dance marathon. All junior high and high school students are welcome to join us in dancing for the kids immediately after the basketball game. Admission is $5. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this evening's varsity and big eight ball game between the Golden Aces of Mount Carmel High School and the Washington Hatchets. Here are the starting lineups for this evening's varsity ball game. First, for the visitors from Mount Carmel. Starting in one guard, number three, Justin Spear. Starting in the other guard, number four, Brady Stepp. And starting at the third round position, we want to be Starting at one round, we have the 21, Austin Raymond. And at the other round, number 34, Jackson Marcotte. The Golden Aces are coached by Tyler Buss. And now the starting lineup for the Washington Hatchet.
Stevens with the ball now. Pass to Kong Garland. Excuse me, Con uh, Kong Garland to Jake Bedwell. Excuse me, Jake Boverton, and it is out of bounds. Last touch by Jake Boverton. Mount Carmel ball. Austin Rager takes the ball out from out of bounds, and he is looking passes in to Justin Spear. Had it almost had it taken away. Back to Pete Smith. Pete Smith looking for someone to pass it to. Passes it to his big man, Jason McCourt. McCourt is being double teamed. And it is... And it is a foul on Washington. It is a blocking foul on... Excuse me, it is a reaching foul on Washington as it will be Golden Aces ball. The pass... The pass in goes to Justin Spear. He has it. He's taking it up court. Looks, passes it to Austin Rager. Austin Rager inside, and he is fouled as he will go to the line and shoot two shots. Austin Rager at the line, and he shoots one and makes his first free throw. Rager at the line, shoots, misses, and it is rebounded by Jacob Overton. Colton Garland with the ball looking, passes it to Connor Brown, Connor Brown to Jake, Jacob Overton. Out to Matthew Stevens, back to Connor Brown. Connor Brown has it now. Out to Matthew Stevens, over to Jake Bedwell. It's a Colton Garland. Colton Garland with wide open three, and he drains it with ease. Pete Smith takes it out of bounds, and it is really good defense by Washington as the ball is deflected, but it is grabbed back by Pete Smith, but it is thrown away again.
Jacob Overton to pass the ball into Matthew Stevens. Out to Connor Brown. Connor Brown has it now. That's Matthew Stevens. Stevens has the ball now inside the Bedwell. Bedwell to Overton. Overton to Connor Brown with a wide open three. He misses it, but it is rebounded by Pete Smith. And the big man is taking up the court, Jason McCott, and he shoots the shot looking for a foul, but there is not one. Connor Brown, excuse me, Colton Garland with the ball now. Out to Jacob Overton. Back to Colton Garland. Colton Garland with a deep three, and it rattles in and out. As the Hatchets lead 11 to 3 here with 4.05 left to go. Is it is Justin Spear with the ball and he passes it to Brandon Strip. Brandon Strip out to the big man Jason McCourt. McCourt back to uh, Pete Smith. Back to McCourt. McCourt out to Brandon Strip. To McCourt. McCourt driving. And he was looking for a foul but did not get one as the Hatchets block him. Connor Brown with the ball now, passes to Overton, Overton looking to drive, and it is a double dribble by Jacob Overton as he, as it is the Golden Aces ball. Pete Smith with the inbound pass to Austin Rager, Austin Rager double team, passes it up to bring a strip, bring a strip over to Pete Smith, Pete Smith inside to Jason, excuse me, to McCourt, McCourt. Had the shot in, but it rattled out, and and it is Colton Garland with the ball now. He is, and he passes it to Jacob Overton. Jacob Overton and Connor Brown. Connor Brown with a wide open three, and he misses. As it is Jacob, excuse me, Jacob Overton gets the gets the excuse me, Jake Bedwell gets the rebound, and it is a foul on Jace, Jack, Jackson McCourt. It is Colton Garland to inbound the pass and he inbounds it to Connor Brown. Connor Brown looking out to Matthew Stevens. Matthew Stevens with the ball now. Out to Colton Garland. Colton Garland with the ball now. Passes out to Jacob Bedwell. Excuse me, Jacob, yeah, Jacob Overton. He drives in and misses the shot. Jackson McCourt gets the rebound. It is. It is it's as he threw the ball up to Justin Spear, but he ran into threw the pass too far, led him a little bit too far there. And then it's watching the ball. Matthew Stevens is taking it up the court and being guarded by Justin Spear. Out to Colton Garland. Colton Garland back to Matthew Stevens. Back to Colton Garland, back to Matthew Stevens. Jacob Overton with the ball out to Matthew Stevens. And it's Connor Brown with the ball now. Out to Colton Garland. To, over to Bedwell. Bedwell to Colton Garland. Colton Garland looking. Out to Jacob Overton. Out to Matthew Stevens. Connor Brown with a wide open three. Good look and did not get it. But it is Colton Garland with the rebound. He cannot get the re he cannot get it to go on the offensive rebound and put back. It is Brandon Strip with the ball now. And he is looking for somebody to pass it to. And he passes it to Brett Doan. Brett Doan passes it to Justin Spear. Justin Spear out to Austin Rogers. Austin Rogers inside to Jason Court. And he makes the shot. Colton Garland fast up the court over to Jake Bedwell. Jake Bedwell looking. Passes it back to Colton Garland. Colton Garland over to Matthew Stevens. Matthew Stevens with the ball now. He passes it to Connor Brown with a wide open three. Out to Colton Garland with a wide open three. And he gets it to fall. The Hatchets lead 14 to 5 here with a minute left to go in the first quarter. It is Austin. Austin Reagan with the ball. And it is a... It is, it is a travel 
and it is the hatchet ball that is the fourth turnover by the Golden Aces here in this four first quarter. Kong Garland over to Jake Bovington. Garland with the ball now. He has it, passes it to Connor Brown, out to Matthew Stevens with a wide open look, and he drives in, but cannot get the layup to go, and it is Austin Rager fast up court out to Spear. Spear has the ball now, looking, trying to go inside to Jackson McCourt. McCourt with the shot, and it is no good. Connor Brown fast up the court over to Colton Garland with a wide open three, and he drains it as that is his ninth point as the Hatches lead 17-5 here with 15 seconds left to go in the first. It is Colton Garland again with another wide open three and he drains it and that is how the first quarter will end. A 20 to 5 lead here at the Hatchet House as Washington Hatchets are dominating this, dominated the first quarter here. And and really it's all thanks to uh, all thanks to Colton Garland getting the wide open threes. And they have been and they have shown that they can get out, run the ball, and really push it and do well. As we are getting ready to start the second quarter here on WHSH. And we are getting ready to start the second quarter here on WHSH as the Hatchets lead 20 to 5 at the beginning of the second quarter. And that lead of the Hatchets is all thanks to Colton Garland and getting wide open shots. He has gotten the most wide open shots here tonight. They, Mount Carmel was in the zone defense and really what Hatchets have done is just drive and kick, drive and kick and that allows and that pulls the zone defense and uh, allows wide open shooters to get open and really press the ball and shoot it. As the the excuse me, the Golden Aces missed their first shot of the second quarter and is Colton Garland with the ball out to Connor Brown with the wide open three and he drains it. 23 to five here with 7.30 left to go. And the Hatchets are playing suffocating defense here as Jacob <laughs> Jake Bedwell runs into a cheerleader and um, they have just really been just just stuck to mount to the Mount Carmel defend to Mount Carmel offensive players and they have played great defense here tonight and uh, it's really w worked wonders for them tonight as it is a foul inside on Jake Jacob Overton excuse me Jake Bedwell on Jackson McCourt It is out of bounds. Golden Aces ball as Pete Smith inbounds it. And it is inbounded to Brett Doan. Doan with the ball and it is stolen by Colton Garland driving. He goes up and he is fouled on the shot and he will shoot two. This is kind of Colton Garland's First trip to the free throw line. He misses his first shot. Cole Garland misses his second shot as well. And Brandon Strip has the ball now. He's looking, driving, and he passes it to Austin Rager. Austin Rager is steps out of bounds, and it is a turnover for the Golden Aces. Turnovers have not been kind to them this evening, as they have had seven total turnovers in the first half alone. 
Cole and Garland with the ball now out to Connor Brown. Connor to Jake Overton. Jacob Overton out to Matthew Stevens. Matthew Stevens out to Connor Brown. Connor Brown to Jake Bedwell. Jake Bedwell has it now. Out to Colton Garland. Colton Garland with the ball now. Out to Connor Brown. It is a legal screen set by Jacob Overton. Excuse me, Jake Bedwell, and it will be it will be Mount Carmel ball as we have Suds as. Billy Fleetwood checks in along with Timber Shelton. Inbounded to Austin Rager. Quick back to Brendan Strip. Uh, Rager with the ball now being double teamed and he passes it to Jackson Mascot out to Brendan Dan and he makes the wide open three as the Hatchets still lead 23 to 8 here with six minutes left to go. It is a reaching foul in the Hatchets retain possession. Excuse me, Colton Garland with a with a difficult look at a three and he misses. That is his first miss three of the night. Brett Dant with the ball inside to the big man in the court and he makes the lay-in. It is Colton Garland with the ball now as he drives it up the court. And it is Overton with the ball. Overton looking to drive and he does and he drives quick but it is blocked. And the last, it is blocked and Jacob Overton gets it back but the last person to touch it is Jacob Overton. And it is Brett Brett Doan to take it out of bounds and Brett Doan has the ball now. Long pass up to Brandon Sh Braden Strip. Braden Strip has it inside to Austin Rager. Austin Rager over to Blake Golden and he makes the shot. Colton Garland with the ball now. He pushes up the court, passes to Connor Brown. Connor Brown out to Jacob Overton. Overton back to Colton Garland inside and he gets the shot to go. It is Austin Rager with the ball now. He passes it up to Brett Joan. And it is Brett Joan with the ball now with a look at the three and he misses it, but it's offensive rebound by Blake Golden. He will shoot two at the free throw line. Blake Golden with the free throw shot and he makes it. Blake Golden with a second free throw attempt and it is missed as Jacob Overton gets the ball. Colton Garland with the ball now. Passes it back to Overton, out to Billy Fleetwood. Fleetwood with the ball now. Passes to Matthew Stevens. Stevens over to Garland. Garland with the ball now. Out to Overton. Overton with it to Timber. Timber Shelton has the ball now. Out to Billy. Billy to Matthew Stevens. Stevens has the ball now. Driving out to Colton Garland. Colton Garland with the ball. Driving. And is fouled and gets the and one to go as the Hatchets lead 27 to 13. Colton Garland makes the free though. It is, it is Justin Spear passes it to Brent Doan, Brent Doan to Austin Rager, Rager inside and the ball is tipped and it is Overton with the ball now and he is fouled and the foul is
the foul is on the ground as the Hatches will take it out underneath their own goal. Billy Fleetwood with the ball now. Pass to Matthew Stevens over to Carden Brown. You see him Kong Gun, Kong Gun with a three point shot. It is a foul on Timber Shelton. Spear passes it to Brent Doan. Brent Doan passes it up to Blake Golden. Golden with the ball now. Passes it to Austin Rager. Austin Rager out to Brent Doan. Brent Doan inside to McCord. McCord outside to Spear. Spear to Doan. Doan has it now. Looking inside to McCord. McCord looking to take it. He does. And he gets the jump hook to go in. Jacob Overton up to... Colton Garland with the wide open three and he gets it to drop as the Hatchets lead 30, excuse me, Hatchets lead 31 to 15 and it is a turn. It is a turnover as it will be Hatchets ball. Connor Brown looking to inbound it over to Matthew Stevens. Matthew Stevens to Billy Fluid. Billy to Connor Brown, Connor Brown out to Matthew Stevens. Matthew Stevens inside, but it is blocked by Austin Rager, and it is Jackson McCourt with the ball now. He passes it to Justin Spear. Spear has the ball, passes it to Rager. Rager has it out to Golden. Golden inside to McCourt. McCourt dribbling, looking, and passes it out to Doan. Doan has it now, out to Golden. Golden over to McCourt. McCourt has it now, and he pat looking past it to Spear. Spear with the ball now, and he passes it to Doan, and he drives and makes the shot. Matthew Stevens with the ball now, out to Billy Fleetwood. Billy Fleetwood to Jay Bovington with a wide open look at the three. He misses. But it is cool going with the ball and Billy Fleetwood goes up with the circus shot and he gets it to go. As Hatches lead 33 to 17. It is a timeout as we will take a 30 second timeout here on WHSH. Welcome back to the Hatch House here on WHSH as the Hatches lead 33 to 17 with 204 left to go in the second quarter. And the Hatchets are dominating this first half. Colton Garland has shot the lights out here tonight. He has shot four, he has made four three-pointers. He has drove it in. And he has just blown this team away by his points. It is amounted to Rager, Rager to Brandon, Braden Strip, Strip to Spear, Spear over to Rager, Rager with the ball now, out to Strip, Strip to Spear, Spear has the ball now, over back to Justin Spear, Spear to Braden Strip, Braden Strip out to Justin Spear, Spear inside to McCourt, McCourt looking in, and he gets the jump hook to go. Matthew Stevens has the ball now. And it is Jacob Overton with the ball out to Billy Fleetwood. Billy Fleetwood to Matthew Stevens. Matthew Stevens to Jacob Overton. Jacob Overton looking, driving, and does not get the shot to go. And it is Matthew Stevens with the foul.
in the bonus so they will automatically go to the free throw line. Raider makes his first shot. Rager shoots and makes his second free throw attempt to see his two from two from the line. Colton Garland with the ball now, driving it out to Billy Fleetwood. Billy Fleetwood with it to Jacob Overton. Jacob Overton inside to Timber Sheldon. Timber out to Overton. Overton to Colton Garland. Colton Garland with the set three and he nails it. Colton Garland has 20 points on the night. It is and Mount Carmel makes their shot as there is 35 seconds left going to half. Connor Brown inside, no, but Timber Sheldon with the rebound tried to put it back and it is no good. It is Justin Spear with the ball now out. To Doan. Doan inside. Misses the shot. Back to Doan. Doan misses it again. And it is Overton with the rebound. So Colton Garland looks to push the ball up the court. And they are looking to hold for the last second shot. And it is a kick ball. Hatches ball with 3.4 seconds left to go. This is a substitution. Brenton Doan coming out and Blake Golden coming in. Colton Garland looking to take the ball out of bounds. And it is out to Billy Fluid, out to Jacob Overton with the last second shot. And it is no good to end the half. But the Hatchets have a 12 point lead as the Hatchets lead 36 to 24. Stick around as we will take a minute break for the halftime show coming up next here on WHSH. Welcome back to the Hatchet House as the Hatchets led a dominating first half. As the score to in the first half is 36 to 24. And they have been just unbelievable. They have shown that they can do well, that they have the power, and they have done what I said from the beginning. They have drive, they have push the ball up the court and that has been their main key tonight is just really just pushing the ball up the court and really getting open looks as, as Connor Brown shot the lights out as he as excuse me as Colton Garland had 19 excuse me, yeah, nine, no, 21 points to end the first half, and he just dominated 
for Washington. He had been the engine that drove in this half as he as he really just dominated and shown that he can just drive it, shoot it, no matter what you want him to do, he can do it and he will do it with power and with emphasis and with style. And he has done well. He has done very well tonight and we will look forward and we will look for him to continuously do that here tonight. And the Washington Hatchets have just really just dominated the first half. Um, uh, the Mount Carmel stuck to their game plan. They came out in the zone defense and they uh, they got them all inside as much as they could. They made one three compared to the Hatchets seven threes in the first in the first half, and they just came out and showed what they can do, and they did it, and they did it well into the best of their ability. The Hatchets have came out tonight, shown what they've got, and uh, really that's what we're looking forward them, to them doing in the second half. We're looking forward to them to come out and continue the second half where they left off. And they, if they can do that, if they can do that, they will have a very good chance of winning and extending this lead even more as they already have a 12 point lead the hatchet as we have about six minutes left to go until the start of the second half here at the Hatchet House, and the Hatchets have came out, shown what they can do uh, here, and they will continue it, and we will hope to see them continue to do that the second half tonight, as they have a 12-point lead at the end of the half, and they have shown that they can come out, dominate, and play against a big and strong team in Mount Carmel, and they are and they are really doing well tonight. Um, I'm, I'm just going to be honest. I did not expect them to come out and really just come out and just push the ball and drive and really just get wide open shots. Um, I, I did see a little foreshadowing in tonight's game from the last from the last game that. Uh, Colton Garland had it. He had 25 points at Southridge. And he has 21 points at the end of the first half. So that just tells you what his, what his, what the game, what the outcome of the game looks like tonight. And they look really good right now. You are listening to the Washington Hatches Halftime Show with I'm Jacob Black. Stick around. Uh, we will take a minute break. You are listening to WHSH Radio. Welcome back to the Hatcha House as we have about 3 minutes 30 seconds left to go to the start of the second half here on WHSH and the Hatchets have really done well. They have gotten out and they have gotten out and pushed the ball and just dominated the first half. 
by the end of the first quarter they were leading 20 to 8 and um, there was a there was a surge from Mount Carmel and if Mount Carmel comes out in the second half with the same emphasis that they came out in the in the second quarter they will have a good chance to come back into this game and uh, that's that's really what they should do is they should come out and really just show what they can do show what they came here to do The hatchets are, we're about three minutes away from the start of the second half. And the hatchets have really, I mean, I can't emphasize this enough. I mean, they came out, shot the ball well, as Colin Garland had 21 points in the first half. The rest of the team had 15, and they just dominated. They shot the ball well, they've driven the ball well, they've not turned the ball over, and that has really helped them out. That's what they will be trying to do in the second half. As the as the Golden Aces have really just Mount Carmel Golden Aces just came out and they've just turned the ball over relentlessly. And that has hurt them. And I think that's really what's going to hurt them in the long run. If they come out in the second half and they continuously turn the ball over and Washington gets out in transition, it will be the end of them. Because of the simple fact that Washington has just, just so good in transition. And they will come out and play till the last, till the buzzer sounds. And that is really what uh, we're looking forward for them to do is just come out, show that this is their home court, defend their home court, and show that this, you know, this is this is our time to win this game, you know. And they will win it. They will come out and win it. I have faith in them. I'm not 100 percent sure. Because Mount Carmel can come back if they choose to. They can, and I'll be looking for a for a really really just looking for a second just a surge from Mount Carmel really hope just to show that they're not completely out of this game to show they still have some fight left in them and um, when, if Mount Carmel does that uh, it'll help them out a lot tonight and we have about 40 seconds left from tip off and um, and really just um, if Washington gets this win that will help them a lot out definitely in the draw coming up next week if they will have numerous opponents that they face in uh, Vincent Rive and in uh, Vincent Rive in South Ridge in a uh, Jasper as we are getting ready for the start of the second half here on WHFH. And it is Hatches Balls, Matthew Stevens gets the inbound pass. Passes to Connor Brown, Connor Brown over to Jake Bedwell, over to Colin Garland. Colin Garland inside to Jake Bedwell, out to Matthew Stevens, over to Connor Brown with a wide open look. And he drives, but does not get the shot to go. And it is Jackson McCourt with the ball. Jackson McCourt has the ball now. And he missed everything on that shot as Matthew Stevens gets it, passes out to Connor Brown. Had a wide open look. Gave it up inside to Jacob Overton out to Con Matthew Steve excuse me, Connor Brown, Connor Brown out to Matthew Stevens with a wide open three and he misses it, but Connor Brown gets the ball back and passes out to Matthew Stevens over to Colton Garland, Colton Garland looking 
driving, passes out to Jacob Overton. Jay Overton looking, driving out to Connor Brown. Connor Brown out to Colton Garland. Colton Garland with the ball now out to Matthew Stevens. Matthew Stevens driving out to Connor Brown. Connor Brown with a wide open three and he misses. It is Austin Rager with the ball now and Pete Smith has it, passes it to Justin Spear. Justin Spear has it now, passes it to Brandon Strip. Strip inside to M Jackson McCourt, and he is denied as it will stay Mount Carmel Ball. That was a very good block from a 6 2 Jacob Overton as Brandon Strip has the ball now, passes it to McCourt. McCourt inside, and he does not get the roll. It is Colton Garland with the ball now. He drives it, pushes it up court, and he will take it inside for the lay-in. Colton Garland now has 23 points. Jackson Spear with the ball now, passes it to Pete Smith. Pete Smith up to McCourt. McCourt trying to do a Euro step, and it is a blocking foul and one. <laughs> It is McCourt at the free throw line looking to complete the three point play. McCourt. Ooh, the ball was in and it circled out as Jacob Overton got the rebound past it to Matthew Stevens. Matthew Stevens back to Jacob Overton. Jacob Overton driving in. Lays, uses power and lays it up. And it is a technical on Jacob Overton. Jack Jackson McCourt will go down to shoot the technical shot. There was a little confusion about uh, the sound of the buzzer while he was shooting his free throw shot. And Jackson McCourt makes the first free throw. And McCord is at the free line to shoot the second technical shot. Court shoots and gets it to go. As the hatches lead 40 to 28. And it will be Cameron Hughes taking the ball out of bounds and he passes it into Justin Spear. Justin Spear over to Brandon Strip. Brandon Strip tried to pass it to Austin Rager, but the ball is stolen up to Billy Fleetwood. Billy Fleetwood with it out to Matthew Stevens. And it is a travel on Matthew Stevens. And that will be Washington's third turnover for the night as they have not turned the ball over that much, but the Golden Aces have in a matter of nine times. And the pass is far up and passes back out to Pete Smith. Pete Smith over inside to Jackson McCourt. McCourt with the ball now, looking out to Pete Smith with the wide open three. He misses, and it is Billy Fleetwood with the rebound. Colton Garland with the ball now. He has the ball, he is dribbling past to Billy Fleetwood. Out to Matthew Stevens, over to Jacob Bedwell, out to Connor Brown. Connor Brown has it now, driving out to Colton Garland. Colton Garland has the ball now. Out to Billy Fleetwood, Billy Fleetwood out to Connor Brown with a wide open three, misses. But it is rebounded by uh, Jacob over, Jake Bedwell. Colton Garland with a nice crossover and gets the jump to the fall as he has 20 
six points on the night, eclipsing his 25 point game that he had at Southridge Tuesday night. It is a reaching foul on the Hatchets as Mount Carmel would take it out of bounds. We have 4.40 left to go, uh, and Washington has a 14 point lead. Pete Smith is looking to inbound it, and he does. He jacked uh, to Austin Rager. Rager over to Brent Doan. Brent Doan over to Smith. Smith back to Smith. Over to Doan. Doan cannot get the ball as it is a turnover. That is a 10th turnover for the night in Mount, for Mount Carmel. Cone Garland inbounds it to Matthew Stevens. Matthew Stevens has the ball now. Passes to Colton Garland. Colton Garland over to Connor Brown. Connor Brown has the ball. And it is out to Colton Garland with a long three. And he gets it to go as he has 29 points now. And it will be a timeout on Mount Carmel. As we will take a timeout here on WHSH. We will take a 30 second time out here on WHSH Radio. Welcome back to WHSH Radio here at the Hatchet House as the Hatchets lead 45 to 28. And we, and there is about four minutes left for in the third quarter. And the difficulties from Mount, the turnovers and the difficulties from Mount Carmel have added up. They are continuing to add up as Mount Carmel has added up 11 turnovers in this game to Washington's only three. It is Pete Smith to inbound it. Inbound it to Jason McCourt back to Pete Smith. Back to McCourt, McCourt over to Spear, but back to McCourt, back to Spear. Spear with it now, out to McCourt, McCourt, the ball, out to Smith, driving. And it is a charge as Colton Robin stood in there and took the charge. And it will be Hatch's ball. That is the 12th home turnover for the Golden Aces. I cannot emphasize it enough. The turnovers and just the distractions have hurt them the most throughout this game. Matthew Stevens has the ball now. He passes it to Billy Fleetwood. Billy Fleetwood now with the ball now. Passes it to... Colton Garland, Colton Garland. And there. And it is a travel on Colton Garland as the hatch, excuse me, as the Golden Aces will have the ball. As it is Pete Smith to inbound it and he inbounds it and the ball is stolen but it is gathered by Pete Smith again and he misses the shot, misses again, got it blocked. And he finally got the shot to go, as that was his third attempt. Connor Brown with the ball now, out to Billy Fleetwood, but it is kicked in last touch by Brent Doan of the Golden Nations. Colton Garland is looking to inbound the ball. And he inbounds it to Matthew Stevens with the ball now. Out to Colton Garland. Colton Garland with a deep three and he missed everything on that shot. It is an air ball. It is Austin Rager with the ball now. Out to Brent Dant. Brent Doan. 
and it is McCourt with the long with the three, and he does not get it to go, and it is a foul. It is an over the back foul on Colton Garland. Brent Doan looking to inbound the ball. Inbounds it to McCourt. McCourt with a deep, uh, deep position and gets it to go inside. Connor Brown with the ball now. Out to Billy Fleetwood. Back to Connor Brown. Connor Brown has it now. Out to Billy Fleetwood with a wide open three. And he drains it. Brent McCourt with the ball. And it was a little bit of a long pass. Brenton down with the three, and he does not get it to go. His Colton Garland gets the rebound, and it will be a offensive foul on Austin Rager. <laughs> Matthew Stevens with the ball now. As he drives it up the court, and he is looking, drives, and it is a blocking foul on the ground as the hatchet will take it out of bounds. It is Colton Garland looking inbound, passing it to Jake Bedwell. Jake Bedwell. Out to Colton Garland. Colton Garland has the ball now. Driving, puts up the shot, misses it. Passes out to Connor Brown. Out to Colton Garland, back to Connor Brown, out to Matthew Stevens, Matthew Stevens to Billy Fleetwood, Billy Fleetwood into Jake, Jake Bedwell, out to Matthew Stevens, Matthew Stevens with the three, and it is no good, as it is passed up the court to Blake Golden with the shot, and it is an arm one, and that shot will go, Brent Golden will go to the line and try to make the three-point play. Brent Golden at the line. Shoots the shot and it is no good. Colton Garland with the rebound. Colton Garland has the ball now. Passes it to Connor Brown. Connor Brown with the ball. Out to Matthew Stevens. Matthew Stevens with it. Out to Connor Brown. Connor Brown has it now. Pass it out to Billy Fleetwood, Billy Fleetwood out to Connor Brown. Connor Brown inside, and he goes over Jackson McCourt, and he will try to complete the three point play at the line. Connor Brown at the line, and he drains his free throw attempt. Jackson McCourt, excuse me, um, Brandon Strip with the inbound into McCourt. McCourt dribbling and he has the ball stolen. Colton Garland has the ball now. Ooh, nice pass to Billy Fleetwood, but it is blocked. And it will, oh, it will be Golden Aces ball. As there is 48.1 seconds left to go in this quarter. Brent Doan. With the ball now. Out to Austin Rager. And it is Matthew Stevens. And he got a hand in there and had a jump ball situation as the arrow favors Mount Carmel. It will be Brent Doan taking the ball out of bounds. And Brent Doan inbounds it, and it is stolen by Philly Fleetwood. Connor Brown with the ball now. Connor Brown out to Colton Garland. Colton Garland being guarded by Brent Doan. Colton Garland. Looking to have the last shot of the third quarter.
Cole Long does not get the shot to go, but the Hatchets do lead 51 to 34 at the end of the third quarter. Stick around for more, more of the game here. On we will take a 30 second break. You're listening to WHSA. have came out and dominated that's what we look for for them to do and that's what they have done and and really uh mount carmel has just been penalized by turnovers just continuously turning the ball over and that is what hurt them that is what gave the hatchets this commanding seven point lead um, excuse me, 17 point lead. Um, Colton Garland with the ball now out to Billy Fleetwood. Billy Fleetwood has the ball out to Jacob Overton. Back to Colton Garland. Colton Garland inside drives and he will go to the line to shoot two as he, will, as he is fouled on the shot attempt. Colton Garland shoots his first. And it is off the back of the rim. Colton Garland shooting his second, and he makes it. As the hatches lead 52 to 34 here on WHSH. Pete Smith with the inbound pass. And as it is a kickball, it, 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 and it will stay with Mount Carmel. Pete Smith winning the inbound and inbounds it deep down court. And it is a travel on Austin Rager as he fell to the ground with the ball. They are cleaning up the floor now from where Austin Riger fell to the ground with the ball. Jake Boverton inbounds it to Cole Garland. Cole Garland has the ball now and he takes it up the court, passes it to Connor Brown. Connor Brown with it now over to Overton. Overton drives drove it inside and pounded his way in and got it to go as the hatchets have a 20 point lead 54 to 34 here with about 7 17 left to go brent Jones with the ball now uh as he passes to jackson mccourt mccourt over to smith smith to Dome. Dome with the three and he misses it uh jacob overton with the rebound colton garland as he pushes up the court out to Overton looking for the three and he does not get it to go and Brent Doan gets the rebound Brent Doan travels the fully dribbled and it is Hatchet's ball this is a sub Matthew Stevenson for Colton Garland Jacob Overton passed the ball in to Colton Garland. Excuse me, I pass it in to Matthew Stevens. Matthew Stevens out to Jacob Overton. Oh, out to Connor Brown. Connor Brown with a wide open three and he misses it. 
Uh, Smith with the ball, passes up the court to Strip, Strip out to Golden, Golden back to Braden Strip, Braden Strip with the ball now, passes it to Smith, Smith being double teamed, passes it to Rager, and that was a dunk by Jackson McCourt, and this is Billy Fleetwood back up the court. Jacob Overton with the ball now out to Billy Fleetwood. Billy Fleetwood inside to Jacob. Jake Bedwell out to Jacob Overton and he drives up the court and it is a charge on Jake Jacob Overton. It is Jackson McCourt with the ball now. He passes it to Pete Smith. Pete Smith over to Golden. And he has a wide open with the three and barely caught net. And it is Hatchick's ball as the ball went out of bounds. Jacob Overton taking out. Looking to pass it into Matthew Stevens. And he does. Matthew Stevens passes it to Billy Fleetwood. Billy Fleetwood looking inside to Matthew Stevens. With a nifty pass and Matthew Stevens is fouled on the shot as he will go to the line and shoot two. The Hatchets are in the lead by 18 points, 54 to 36, with 536 left to go here in the first quarter. It is Matthew Stevens at the free throw line shooting two shots. Matthew Stevens makes it, makes both, and the ball is up to Brandon Strip, Brandon Strip over to Pete Smith, Pete Smith out to Golden, Golden to McCourt, McCourt dribbling the ball, and he puts up the shot, and it is no good, but Golden gets the offensive rebound, out to Ray, out to Roger, and he drives it and gets it to go. Up to Billy Fleetwood, Billy Fleetwood to Jake Redwell, out to Jake Boverton, Overton with the ball now, out to Connor Brown, Connor Brown with it. Drives inside and gets the roll to go as Hatchets lead 58 to 38 with 455, excuse me, 450, three left to go in the first quarter. Smith with the ball now and the ball was deflected by, by Billy Fleetwood. And it remains, it remains Old Mason's ball. Dawson Brown has checked into the game for the Gold Maces. And he passes it in to Justin Spear. Justin Spear looks, passes it to Austin Rager. Rager is fouled. And he will go to the line. Rager makes the free throw attempt. And then Rager shot and made a second free throw attempt. Colton Garland has the ball now, dribbling up the court over to Jake Boverton, out to Matthew Stevens. Matthew Stevens with the ball now. Rising in out to Jacob Jake Bedwell. He puts up the shot and it is no good. This is Justin Spear with the ball out to Brent Doan. Brent Doan driving. And Billy Fluid. Oh, it was last touch by Mount Carmel by Brent Doan. As it is Hatchet's ball. Matthew Stevens with the ball now. Passes to Connor Brown. Connor out to Overton. Overton driving in. 
and he is down on the shot as he will go to the line to shoot. Jay Robinson at the free throw line, and he makes his first free throw tip. Jay Robinson looking and misses his second, and it is Austin. And the shot was, and the shot was put up by Ethan Peterson. This is Jay Wilson back down the court, out to Kongalin. Kongalin inside, and he gets the ball to roll in. And the Hatches have a 21 point lead, that largest lead of the game, uh, with three, with three minutes 30, three seconds left to go. In the fourth, Justin Spear passes it to Dawson Brown, and it is stolen. Billy Fleetwood with the ball now. Pushes up the court to Connor Brown. Home, excuse me, to Cone Garlin out to Connor Brown. He makes the dirt. And the Hatchets have extended their lead to 24. It is Justin Spear with the ball. Passing to Blake Golden. Blake Golden out to Austin Rager. Austin Rager stolen by Jay Overton. Overton with the ball. He's looking. Drives it. And the foul is on the ground as he will shoot a one and one. Robertson is shooting at the line and he makes his he makes one of two excuse me make his first free throw shot <laughs> shoots and makes his second free throw shot as it is Pete Smith looking to inbound the pass to Justin Spear He does, and it's just a spear with the ball now. Out to Brandon, excuse me, to Dawson Brown. Dawson will go in, Golden to Smith. Smith out to Spear, Spear. To Smith, Smith with the wild shot, and it is no good. Rebounded. The ball is rebounded by Jalen Edwards. Jalen Edwards will go to the line and shoot. Jalen Edwards at the free throw line. Jalen Edwards shoots and makes his first free throw attempt. Jalen Edwards getting ready for a second free throw attempt. And he misses it. It is just a spear with the ball. Pushing it up the court. Passes it out to Blake Golden. Blake Golden out. Uh, Dawson Brown. Dawson Brown. Golden. Golden out to Ethan Peterson with the three. And it is no good. Timber Shelton with the ball now. Timber Shelton out to Cameron Olmson. Billy Fleetwood with the ball now. Out to Evan Francis and he does not get it to go but Timber Shelton gets offensive rebound and a put back. The Hatches are extending their lead. They lead by 39. And it will be a we'll go to the line and shoot two. Yeah. 
Justin Spear makes his first free throw shot. Misses his second one and is rebounded by Jalen Edwards. Billy Fleetwood with the ball now. Evan Francis, Cameron Austin try to get it to Evan Francis, but it was a little too hot of a pass. And there's Pete Smith inbounding to Justin Spear. Justin Spear out to Blake Golden. Blake Golden over to Pete Smith. Pete Smith has the ball stolen by Osman. Osman. And it is quickly back down the court to Justin Spear. And Justin Spear carried the ball. As that is yet another turnover for Mount Carmel. We have one eight. 116 left to go and it is inbounded and it is Jalen Edwards with a shot to Michelle with the offensive rebound is good Billy Fleetwood with the defensive play and it is Jalen Edwards with the offensive rebound and it is a foul on Justin Spear And Cameron Olsen, us, us son, will go to shoot an animal one and one. This is his first attempt. Shoots and drains his second attempt. Golden has the ball now out to Braden Peterson. Braden with the shot and it misses. Timber Shelton with the rebound out to Jalen Edwards. Jalen Edwards with the ball now to Billy Fleetwood. Billy Fleetwood has the ball now and he is looking to hold the ball. Cameron Osman will look to hold the ball and that looks like it will be the game. Hatchets win it by 33 as the finals. We count down the seconds. And it looks like that will be the game. The final score is 74 41 here on WHSA. Stick around for more. We will take a quick, we will take a short 30 second break and be around. Stick around for the post game show. You're listening to WHSH. 